Your uh, chai latte, mate. Oh. There you go. Cheers, mate. Don't down it all at once, eh? Look after it. Ooh. Mate, she's a bit nippy today, eh? Oh, yeah. Mm. So much for global warming, eh? Yeah. Mind you, scientists reckon global warming came before the ice age. Is that right? Mm. So what do you reckon? Global warming or ice age? Well, I don't know. What do you think? I think it's just cold today, mate. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, mind you, you wouldn't happen to subscribe to the theory of the uh, average increase in the Earth's uh, climate and temperature over a sustained period of time, would you? What? Do you believe in global warming, mate? Oh, yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, I reckon it's getting hotter. I'm not actually sure, though. Oh, right. Mm. You're one of those guys, eh? You don't believe in scientists. Since when? Well, remember last week at Smoker, you know, you said you didn't believe in evolution. And? Well, if you don't believe in evolution, you don't believe in scientists. Wow. I'm still astounded after all these years. Just, just don't get how your mind works sometimes, mate. Thanks. It's not a compliment, mate. Oh. <laughs> Look, just because I don't believe in the evolution theory doesn't mean I don't believe in science or scientists. Yeah? Yeah. Mate, I love science. Look, if it wasn't for scientists, we would never have gone to space. You know, I would never have seen um, God's eye, the nebula. Okay. You know? If it wasn't for scientists, we wouldn't have found a cure for smallpox. There wouldn't be cars, planes, rockets. Yeah, I guess. If anything, I'm pretty thankful for science, mate. Why? Well, for discovering the unknown. You know, opening our eyes to the possibility of what's out there. And every time a scientific breakthrough occurs, mm -hmm. we get a small taste of God's power and his awesome creativity. Yeah. So you believe that scientists are proving God? Spot on, mate. <laughs> but I thought that's what the Bible was supposed to do. And it does. Except for some people, it's not enough. They want more proof and evidence. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean... How can you believe words from a bunch of guys you've never met? And, and just take it on, on uh, just, you know, take it on uh, their, their writing that uh, everything they say is truth. Hmm. Yeah, spot on, mate. Fair point. Hey, what do you know about carbon dating? Hmm, it's used to date fossils and antiques. Oh, two from two. Well done, mate. Well done. It's a uh, system of uh, calculations and measurements created in the 1940s to um, determine the rate of radioactive decay in you know, organism, or orga organisms and fossils and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I meant. Mm. Hey, so having said that, do you know what the calculations are? What? Do you know the calculations that are used to um, calculate the rate of decay? Well, no. Hmm. You haven't met the guy that created the calculations, have you? No. Fascinating. <laughs> so, having said all that, you're still a believer of carbon dating and the process, and you think it's real? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Sounds like to me, you're willing to believe the words of a bunch of guys that you've never met. And just on faith, believe that everything they said was true. Oh, hey, okay, uh, uh... Sounds like that's exactly what you're doing, mate. Fair enough. Mm. Look, all I'm saying is, don't close your mind off too quickly, mate, you know? You never know. Through science, you too could one day see God. <laughs>